Hi folks, welcome back. Tonight we're going to be doing a uh, simple experiment, but an important experiment that uh, I should have done a long time ago, actually. And uh, what we're going to try to, or what we are going to do is uh, we're going to reverse the cell and put the titanium dioxide on the graphite instead of the uh, zinc, as I normally do. And the reason I haven't done this uh, before is because uh, titanium dioxide is a natural n-type semiconductor and also Dr. Gerald Pollack's work on the exclusion zone uh, showed that titanium dioxide is a, um, a hydrophilic um, alkaline material so and alkalines go on the negative side and so I just assumed that that was the best place to put it but it may not be so we're going to find out and, uh, and then after we find out if it works if it does work, then um, what I'm interested in seeing and comparing is the voltage because on the negative electrode we get one volt out of it and we'll see a little more or a little less and we'll see what it will produce on the, uh, on the cathode. And also uh, we want to see, of course, if, if it will self-charge or not and how fast it self-charges is important and just generally compare it to how it performs on the uh, on the uh, on the anode because we know it works well there so uh, we'll see how it works the other way so this is titanium dioxide and water distilled water just gonna stir it up there a little bit and then paint some here on the some graph oil it's got a copper uh, current collector on the back of it, which really helps when you're cleaning these things up. I mean, I've cleaned that electrode there a bunch of times already. Let me hook up the meter here. Now, we're not going to put anything else in this cell. There's going to be no graphite, extra graphite for energy storage or anything. It's just titanium dioxide and water and the two electrodes. Okay, and this is a piece of uh, paper, nothing on it, no borax or anything. And we're just going to put that on there and the only water in it is the water that was in that right there. Okay. Which isn't a whole lot. I should probably wet this down just a dab. The paper doesn't even feel wet. This is distilled water here too. We'll put a little bit on there. Just to give it some juice. I know it don't operate without water. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what this thing does. All right, uh, bolts are here. Amps are over here. On the other. All right. Well, look, it works. How about that? And it's climbing up to a higher voltage than uh, we got the other way, too. I mean, without uh, anything on it, because it, it never got to 110. With just titanium dioxide and water, it was always about one volt, a little less or a little more. So now we've got uh, 111. All right, so that's better. Now let's discharge it and see what we get. Now this should only produce maybe 10 milliamps I'm guessing. So we'll see what we are and we're on the 200 milliamp scale. So let's see what we got at 1, 10, 8, 7, somewhere in there. Ready? 3, 2, 1, 26. Wow, it produces more amps that way too. That's a lot better than uh, 10 or less. Okay, so uh, 26 milliamps at uh, 110. Now let's look at our self-charge. It's climbing pretty nice. Self-charge seems to be about the, about the same. Same rate. Now this is going to keep dropping in voltage because it's, it's running out of water. Every time we cycle it, we're going to lose some water. But uh, 
we can see that it's uh, it works pretty good better than I thought I didn't even I don't know I was foolish for not even trying this there's 107 let's hit it again right there and see what we get we'll hold it a little bit some this time too and see how much kind of holding power it's got all right 107 one here we go three two one 21 Yeah. The uh, rate of uh, drop slowed down on it as it got lower. All right, now let's try to uh, to charge it up. I just got an eight volt or a nine volt battery here, and we'll uh, we'll hook it on there. Let me see. Let me do it the other way. Alright, I'm back again. I discovered that that one uh, battery here that I thought was good was actually bad. So uh, I got another one here. It's not a, it's not completely dead, but it's got uh, 1.9 volts on it, which is enough to put a charge on this. So now we're going to try and charge it again and see if it charges. Alright, I'm glad I checked that because I didn't want to give you bad information. So we're at uh, 0.9 one volts and let's see what we get here oh and it does charge well it goes up oh look at that we're adding charge to it and it's going down it started at the top and then that's ass backwards isn't it you would think that the charge would go on up but it, it took a charge and then it came right back down let's uh, discharge the thing and see if it got any amps in it what happened there if anything Alright, let's go over here. Three, two, one, fourteen. About the same. Alright, let's charge try charging it again. Didn't seem to hurt the self charge on it though. It's still gonna go right back up to the point nine to one volt area. There's our point nine. Alright, let's hit it again now. Stop right where it was last time. One one point nine one one, I think, or something. All right, so here we go. Nine one. There's a one oh eight. <laughs> Look at that. It goes to one oh eight and then drops down. It's really weird. It's a definitely a strange battery. Let's uh, try doing some little uh, tap charges on it. <laughs> God, that's bad. Alright, let's discharge it now. After all that charging, we should have a shitload of amps in it. That's less than it did before. So uh, it's definitely uh, it doesn't want to charge, and uh, so there you have it. Still the same verdict: does not want to self or it wants to self charge, but it don't want to be charged. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.